everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Valproate. Now, if just seeing the name Valproate, you're thinking, why did she say Valproate? Why not Valproic acid? Why not Divalproex? And is there any difference between these uh, different formulations? I want to know more about it. I'm going to do a bonus video about that. But uh, as I was not sure if uh, everybody will be interested in those details, um, I'm going to just do that in a separate video. So let's just go ahead and talk about uh, valproate. Now, question number one. What is valproate FDA approved for? And the options are uh, bipolar depression, bipolar maintenance, bipolar mania, and I'm going to add something mixed bipolar episodes and the answer is mania and mixed bipolar episodes which is this one is a quite interesting um and uh, not a very usual indication mixed bipolar episodes now obviously people do use um valproate for bipolar depression they do use it for bipolar maintenance uh, the general idea is that like lithium it stabilizes from above, meaning that it's better in treatment of manic episodes and also uh, prevention of manic episodes than it is in treatment of uh, depressive episodes and prevention of them. But people also use it for those indications. Now let's go to question number two. What is the mechanism of action of valproate? And the answer is, as you may remember, it does uh, block uh, voltage-sensitive sodium channels. And uh, down the line, uh, the theory is that this blockage leads to increase in con concentrations of GABA, and that is how you get the psychiatric effects. Now let's go to question number three. How long does it take for valproate to work and compare that to lithium. Now, if you like, you can stop the video and think about that, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead with the answer. How long does it take for valproate to work uh, versus lithium? And these are the answers. For lithium, it takes one to, two, one to three weeks to get a response. For valproic um, acid, AKA valproate, it, if you load it, it takes one to four days to get a response. Now, the question that might come to mind is that how to load it to get the response in one to four days. And that brings us to question number four, how to load Valproate. And the answer is, you load it 20 to 30 milligram per kilogram per day. So let's put it in perspective a little bit. So let's say we have a 70 kilogram uh, patient. Uh, 20 milligram per kilogram uh, would bring us to 1400, let's say 1500, let's round it. And then that would be 750 milligram BID. If, if you think about it, it's actually not, not a very high dose. How about 30 milligram per kilogram. Let's say you, you want to, uh, it's a very severe manic episode or uh, let's say even mixed episode and you want to get a response very fast. So 30 milligram per kilogram for a 70 kilogram per patient would be 2100. Uh, let's round it down to 2000 per day. So that will bring us to a thousand milligram BID. Again, higher than our usual dose, but it's not very high if you think about it. We can use much higher dosages if you don't get a good blood level. So that's it. And then let's go to question number five. Um, when is valproate more effective than lithium? In other words, usually we consider lithium to be first line for treatment of mania. Um, what are some of the circumstances in which we would prefer valproate? And if you think about it, 
we kind of have answered this question, half of it at least. We talked about how fast it takes for Valproate to work and we did talk about uh, mixed episodes. But I wanna add one thing to that list. So as you see here, we have um, mixed episodes, we have rapid response, and there's another rapid, rapid cycling. Which, um, what does rapid cycling mean? How, how many episodes, how many mood episodes in the past 12 months do you need to call it rapid cycling? Four episodes, exactly. So if any of these circumstances are uh, true, then uh, Valproid may be more effective than lithium. And that brings us to the end of the five questions about uh, valproate. And uh, feel free to watch the, the bonus video if you are interested to know why I kept calling it valproate. Have a good one. Bye.